Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your February 2017 mid-month readings. Make sure to check your rising and your moon sign as well. Uh, they may play out a little more predictably for you over the next couple of weeks. And just by watching all three of your signs, sun and moon and rising, you get a more a whole and clear and definitive a picture as possible because uh, each of your signs gives a little bit more uh, insight or a little bit of a different perspective on what's going on in your life over the last half of February. So try to watch all three if you can. Thank you for joining me here today and thank you for those of you who continue to watch and listen and follow my YouTube channel and for taking the time to write the feedback and comments. I really do appreciate your support and your uh, continuous uh, feedback. Thank you for taking the time for that. And thank you also a note of gratitude for those of you who continue to keep me so busy with personal one-on-one -on -one readings. It's an honor and a pleasure always to read for you and I'm grateful for the trust that you place in me to do so. And if anyone is interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me and you haven't read with me before, you can click on the little about button on my YouTube channel's homepage, which will give you a little more information and my email address. You can email me directly at maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you or with anyone else if you care to purchase a gift reading for friends, family, or loved ones. It is the month of Valentine's Day and I do a... Um, a love compatibility relationship spread as well, a pretty in-depth one. So if you're interested in that, mention that in the email. I am also still doing 12-month year overviews as well if you're interested in that along with all the other types and lengths of readings that I do. I'd be delighted to work with you. So if you uh, would be interested in that, send me an email and we will go from there. Current turnaround time for readings, which is a question I'm always asked, is anywhere from a couple of days upwards of two weeks. Since I do readings full time, six days a week, I'm usually able to get back with you pretty quickly and set up something almost always within two weeks. So moving right along, let's get into this reading. This is for Cancer for February 2017, mid-month. What does the remainder of the month of February 2017 have in store for the water sign of Cancer. Cancer, our Cancerians. What does the remainder of February have in store for Cancer? <clears throat> okay. We begin with the Tower, followed by the Six of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands, followed by the Eight of Cups. Strength, followed by the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Cups, followed by the High Priestess. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and advice is the Empress. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four major Arcana cards here. So almost fully half of your spread, um, Cancer, is major Arcana. So strong, <clears throat> strong divine timing and orchestration um, and a strong presence of God's spirit, angels and guides over a lot of you for the next couple of weeks since we're looking at um, the last half of February rather than the month in its entirety. Although for some of you, this is going to be just a continuation of energy of things that are, are going on in your life at present. So let's begin Cancer. We start with the energy of the Tower, followed by the Six of Swords. So the Tower is a major arcana card, and the Tower represents um, an event that comes in uh, rather unexpectedly, typically out of the blue, and it comes in and it represents something that really shakes you up, something that really rocks your world. Um, the energy of the tower card in and of itself can be viewed at the time as negative or viewed at the time as positive, but it's something that comes in and affects a major change. This could be a major change in your day-to-day -day life. It could be a major change in a relationship. It could shake up uh, a strongly held fundamental belief system. It's something that comes in unexpectedly that you have no control over. And the key to understanding and utilizing the energies of cards like the tower cards, which are beyond our control, is to not really struggle and fight against them so much uh, because it makes, it makes the event uh, 
a little easier to deal with and it, it helps us, allows us to move through it a little quicker and to glean the lessons that we need, particularly if this event represents something that at the time is viewed as, as challenging or negative. Sometimes it represents the destruction or removal of something in our life um, that we might be attached to, but in retrospect is something that is no longer serving its purpose and really needs to, to let go, to be let go of. And the tower card can also represent something that comes in, and I feel this for some of you, this is representing something that comes in, and it's actually very positive or viewed as a blessing. Um, but it's something that really changes you, something that really rocks your world and kind of changes your day-to-day -day life. For some of you, this is going to represent something that's occurring right now. Some of you, this is something um, that's in, I feel like actually for a lot of you, the energy of the tarot card, the original event or whatever it represents is something that's already happened. Um, but this energy is still kind of lingering and continuing. And it looks like for those of you who have had anything painful or negative or challenging to deal with recently, you are moving through a healing process from it uh, because the tower card is paired with the six of swords. Air energy is what we have here, which is the element that governs the suit of swords. Swords is cerebral, mental, intellectual energy. For those of you who follow, it's all about what goes on up here. The energy of the suit of swords is about how we look at things, our outlooks and perspectives and belief systems and words and ideas and how we communicate those. The six of swords is a card of, it's a card of, of healing, uh, of restoration uh, and peace, moving through a healing process or moving from a time period which has been uh, perhaps very chaotic or turbulent or painful and, and moving into a time that's more settled, you feel more peaceful, more serene. It's a transitional energy uh, card, which means that the worst is behind you. You're not quite to the other shore yet, but you're moving through a recovery process, a healing process. And paired with the tower card, again, I think that for the majority of you, whatever this event of the tower card represents, um, whether it was something that was viewed as negative uh, or really positive at the time, you're moving through um, this energy, uh, kind of the chaos and turbulence that it caused in your life. And again, there's so many of you watching, the specifics are going to play out different. For some of you, the energy of that tower card is something that was difficult for you to deal with, and you're moving through a healing recovery process from that. For others of you, this tower card is something that came in very unexpectedly, um, but, but it's really a, a blessing and a positive thing, but it really kind of changed your life or really shook your world up nonetheless, and you're still moving through that energy kind of settling into it um, and kind of you know assimilating and acclimating yourself to it I feel like some of you are the overall card being the Empress which can be a card of fertility I feel like some of you just recently found out that you were pregnant um, and either you it was very unexpected or you no longer thought you were able to get pregnant again but you are I, that's probably a very small handful of you but I am getting that specific message so we're moving through this energy around the middle of February now, next to that, we have the energy of the Queen of Wands, followed by the Eight of Cups. So the Queen of Wands, here we have fire energy, which is the element that governs wands. It's a fiery suit, dynamic, action-oriented. It's all about forward moving and creating and building and manifesting and change. Kings and queens represent individuals who've reached the master of their suit. So they typically represent individuals who are uh, fairly mature, fairly well-evolved and kind of uh, a pretty pretty good way down the, the path of life. Um, and they represent, they've reached the achievement of their suit. So they've, they've represented they represent uh, having reached a full maturity level of the character traits of their suit as well. So the Queen of Wands would represent, and for some of you, this is just going to be energy that you're utilizing to move through uh, the next couple of weeks. And for others of you, this Queen of Wands is going to represent an actual specific person in your life, in your sphere, uh, somebody who manifests these character traits. And this would represent a very dynamic individual, uh, probably a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising, which would be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It's showing up as a female, as a queen, but there's thousands of you watching, so this could be male as well. It's a general reading, and it's not going to apply the same. So this would be a, a, a dynamic, action-oriented individual, somebody who's not prone to rest on their laurels for very long. Uh, they're very... Um, they're very charismatic, uh, probably easy on the eyes. People are drawn to them. Uh, this would be somebody who's a very good leader, uh, good at getting the job done, and good at delegating and inspiring other people to get the job done. She's very good at problem solving, and uh, if one thing isn't working, she figures out another way and immediately jumps on it. This is somebody who goes for what she wants, assertive, uh, independent, uh, 
nurturing and loving, uh, but enthusiastic, passionate, creative. When you think of everything fire signs are stereotypically, that's the queen of wands. So for some of you, this is going to represent um, the energy that you're utilizing, uh, this very intentional, assertive, uh, uh, focused energy you're using to move through um, the remainder of this tower card energy. For some of you, this is this is uh, likely another fire sign person who's figuring strongly in your life over the next couple of weeks. And some of you, this may be some of you may have recently either gotten together with this Queen of Wands individual or you have broken up or, or separated yourself from this uh, this Queen of Wands individual. For some of you, that tower card might represent a breakup with this person. Or for some of you, this might represent somebody who came into your life like a hurricane, just kind of blew in like a hurricane. Uh, but for a lot of you, there's a sense of, of kind of separation from this person. For a smaller portion of you, this Queen of Wands individual is somebody who's playing a very positive and beneficial role in helping you move through and away from whatever this this chaos turbulence pain for some of you has been. A very good friend, a mate even. Uh, because that Queen of Wands is paired with the Eight of Cups, which is the, the walking away card, leaving something behind. We have water energy here, which is the element that governs the suit of cups. Cups is uh, a suit that, that represents our emotional landscape, emotions, feelings, relationships, love, very mercurial kind of energy. The Eight of Cups represents walking away from something which has turned out differently than what you thought it might be or was in the beginning, or something which may have uh, satisfied you or served its purpose for a while, but has it's 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 already served its purpose and it's time for you to leave it behind. This man, these eight cups on the ground behind this man, uh, the implication is that he's tasted a drunk from most, if not all, of these cups. And while they may have satisfied him for a time, or he may have thought they were what he wanted uh, in the beginning, at the end, after after having tasted and drunk from from most, if not all of them, he's come to the conclusion that it's no longer what he wants. Uh, this card can represent feeling somewhat disappointed or disillusioned, but very assertively and and in a very focused and intentional way, making the decision to turn your back on it and walk away and seek out new horizons. Even if you're not quite sure where you're going to go, this card represents making the, the definitive decision uh, that you are walking away and leaving something behind. So again, uh, for some of you, uh, this Queen of Wands individual represents somebody you are leaving behind. And, and for those of you for whom that resonates, it may be, um, it, it may have been a very uh, a painful or or you know, very challenging uh, thing for you to do. And you're still moving through healing energy from this. Uh, but you're manifesting strength also, as well as I look at the rest of the cards. For some of you, this Queen of Wands individual represents a partner or a friend or somebody significant to you that's helping you uh, walk away, somebody that uh, is helping you move through this breakup process or separation process. Uh, for some of you, it could even be you may have lost someone recently, um, and this Queen of Wands is kind of helping you through this, this healing and grieving process as well. You're not quite there yet. I kind of get the feeling for most of you, however the specifics are playing out in your life, this is ongoing energy, but you are moving through this. And for those of you who still feel like you're having a difficult time, head up because the worst is behind you and you are moving through this. For those of you for whom have had your lives kind of shaken up by something really wonderful but unexpected, you're moving through that as well and things are going to continue to kind of settle down. Now, next to that, we have the combination of strength, great card, accompanied by the two of swords. So strength is a card of, uh, of self-acceptance in a lot of ways, of acceptance. Um, having the wisdom and the strength and the insight to recognize, to look at all of our, to look at uh, all of ourselves, to take a, a, a sincere and deep, honest look at everything about ourselves, everything going on within ourselves, particularly in this situation. Um, have the courage to make the, ch to take control where you can, to make the changes where um, you're capable of making changes and need to make changes and, and living in acceptance of the rest. This is a card that can represent facing your, your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, Securities, uh, going through them and the strength and wisdom that you glean on the other side from going through them.
them uh, a sense of peace and self-acceptance as well, which is how this woman has tamed this, this uh, wild beast, which she's done so gently and so lovingly and with such a sense of acceptance as well, make, making peace with herself um, and having gone through, faced everything she needed to so she can, she can move forward very, uh, very courageously into her future particularly for those of you who feel like, um, who've you know, been going through uh, a difficult breakup process lately, or who are in a situation where um, you're faced with something you, you feel you, you may not be up to the task, you are. And this is just about walking through that. Looks like maybe you get a little stuck there for, for just a minute. Uh, that strength card is paired with the two of swords, which is a card of being at a crossroads and, and perhaps feeling a bit stuck in that energy. It can also represent, um, uh, the blindfold can also represent uh, a, a reluctance or a resistance to choose a specific path, to make a specific decision or to deal with something in front of you that needs to be dealt with. For some of you, I'm just getting this tower card energy this is so specific, it must be just for a few people watching. It feels like you have recently found something out, some kind of information, message, some kind of information has been revealed around this Queen of Wands individual in your life and you haven't actually done anything about it, but you need to. And it feels like for a minute over the next couple of weeks, you may have, you may be in a situation where you, you're not ready to deal with it yet. You don't want to make a decision. You don't want to make a decision to deal with it one way or the other yet. You're still kind of sitting with this energy and trying to figure out how to work your way through that. It feels very specific. Some of you, this may be, it may be something you found out about a very good friend that was negative. It could be a partner issue. Maybe you found out about some infidelity or there's some suspicion, but I feel like for a small handful of you, there's some kind of information, something that's come to light, which has really kind of shook you up. And this energy of strength and the two of swords represents kind of being in a place where you're not, you don't know what to do about it yet. And you're not ready to kind of make a decision about where to go with it yet. But it feels like it, this energy is very short lived because at or towards the end of February, 2017, perhaps moving into the beginning of March, we have the Ace of Cups accompanied by the high priestess. I like to see this energy because you're moving out of this. For those of you who get kind of stuck in, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know if I want to deal with this. Um, I don't know if I'm up to this. It looks like you're, you, it, that's just a stumble. You, you come out of that energy pretty quickly, a lot of you, um, with this energy of the Ace of Cups and the High Priestess. So the Ace of Cups, Aces represent the number one. It represents the beginning uh, seeds, which can be planted and if taken care of, can, can fruit, can come to their full potential. It represents the beginning of something that has a lot of potential to grow into something quite extraordinary. So this Ace, this is the Ace of Cups. Cups is relationships, feelings, emotions. So this can represent, for some of you, new love and romance. For some of you, this can represent new emotional beginnings and an already established relationship, um, reconciliation energy, a new beginning, a coming back together again, uh, something which was broken, kind of healing and coming back together again. There may be reconciliation uh, for some of you. Some of you may be leaving an old relationship for a new relationship. Again, I'm getting that some of you, this is, this is not even partner so much. It's a, it's a fertility pregnancy issue. Um, not an issue. It's a positive beneficial thing, but very unexpected and has really kind of rocked your world, so to speak. For some of you, this is new love and romance. You may be meeting somebody at the end of the month that, um, uh, relationship energy holds quite a bit of potential. For others of you going through a separation or a moving away process um, at the end of the month, this new emotional beginnings is more just centered around yourself, your own heart, your own evolvement, your own spiritual and emotional development as you begin a whole new path, a new beginning for you that doesn't necessarily include another partner, but it's a beautiful new emotional beginning for you starting out on a new path and feeling quite good about it. And really trust your instincts and your intuition and whatever 
whatever path you feel led to walk down, whatever choice, uh, because it looks like most of you get out of this, I don't know what to do, I don't know what decision to make. It looks like most of you get out of this, and I feel like you really need to, trusting your instincts and your intuition in what you decide to do is key, is key in having this new emotional beginning, uh, this, 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 whether it's reconciliation or something completely new. It's important that you trust your instincts and your intuition and allow you to guide that because that Ace of Cups is accompanied by the High Priestess, another major arcana card, very powerful one. The High Priestess is, of course, a very highly spiritual, highly intuitive uh, individual or energy. This is about um, uh, connecting with your source of spirit and allowing yourself to to follow where you feel you're being led to any particular feelings or pings you get pay attention to your dreams and the messages that seem random but you feel like maybe something else this is about um trusting the opportunities and the chances that are placed in front of you because they're there for a reason and follow those paths take a chance and walk down those paths even if you can't see where they lead because it's all about divine timing and orchestration here so for those of you who kind of get stuck in this energy of not knowing how to proceed from the situation whatever it means specifically for you connect with uh guides your spirit angels guides connect with that and and ask for clarification and go where you feel led to go and pay attention to messages and dreams because they're being put there for a reason and this reason is part of this new emotional uh, beginning which could really pan out to be something quite extraordinary for you new beginnings all the way around your crowning card Overall energy is the Empress, another major arcana card. Beautiful card. This is a card about new beginnings. It can be for some of you uh, uh, the green light for starting new relationships, starting new projects, uh, beginning a new path. Uh, this is the Empress is about fertility, rebirth, regrowth. Uh, it's it's about the time being right to plant seeds to begin something new, regardless of the, what that new thing is. It, it represents that this is the time. This is the time to start something new, start a new chapter. After begin walking down a new path. Uh, for some of you, this is literal fertility, pregnancy again for some of you. Um, the Empress is a, one of the traditional uh, mother cards of the tarot as well. There could be quite an emphasis on um, your mother, a mother figure, that kind of maternal energy. For some of you, it could be your mother who's kind of helping you navigate uh, over, through this over the next couple of weeks. For some of you, this might be your energy that you're manifesting over the next few weeks as well. So uh, uh, mostly uh, mostly water and air energy here, a lot of emotional, um, mental thoughts and feelings over the next couple of weeks, moving through a healing recovery process, trying to decide what new direction you want to go in, making a choice to, some of you have had something challenging to deal with in front of you, very unexpected. Some of you may view this as challenging. Some of you may view it as positive. Um, it's all positive in the end, but it does look like whatever spawned this initially was very unexpected. Um, but it looks like you get out of any stuck energy you may be in and you do allow your intuition and your your instincts to kind of guide you connect with the divine allow yourself to be open yourself up for wisdom insight and clarity and allow what comes in to guide you because it's there for a reason so it looks like at the end of february and moving into march cancer um you're you are beginning on a new path kind of a mix of energy some of it's some of this is relationship love romance relationship oriented some of this is 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 motherhood is parenting some of it is 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 continuing to navigate through um the remnants of a, a perhaps a challenging or painful breakup or separation And some of you, this has something to do with a close friend. That Queen of Wands, I'm still getting for some of you, is not, it's not love and romance and it's not family, but it's a close friend. It's something to do. Somebody got handed some information. Something came to light that really kind of shook you up 
and uh, it, it's centered around this Queen of Wands individual. So for those of you for whom that resonates, uh, write in and send a few details because I'm kind of curious to see what the specifics might be uh, for those of you for whom that uh, that applies. So Cancer, that pretty much wraps up the remainder of the next couple of weeks of February for you. I hope you have enjoyed it, that it hasn't confused you too much, uh, and that you find it useful in some way. And again, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can click on that little about button for more information, and you can always email me directly at maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the March 2017 general readings and I wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day and uh, as always until I see you again much joy peace blessings and a happy life and I hope to see you soon bye-bye